Hey guys, welcome back. I just cleaned all my green pens. Well, not all, because I still have two here that I haven't inked these yet, nor have I tried them because this twist B, I still need to have the nib done. And this, I honestly, I kind of want to sell it. I'm not sure if I want to use it because I'm not really big on the whole gold yellow nib thing so I still haven't really figured out what I'm gonna do with this pen but there's a possibility I'm gonna sell it but these are the green pens that I use or I want to use on a regular rotation so I wanted to ink these with new inks obviously and I promised more content with you guys so I try well at least i'm enjoying it somehow now and i hope you're enjoying it too uh if not i'm really sorry you can just feel free to put me on mute and maybe like just skip through the things but i guess i just wanted to show you how exactly i go through like how ink swatch books help in picking what i'm gonna uh, ink my pens with so one of the things is that I have this uh, Hobonichi Day Free, which this is a 2022 book, I think. But I am going to be replacing this soon with the Take a Note in A6. Uh, I'll explain maybe in some other time. But mainly that though the colors are nice and all, I am just really not a fan of the whole bleeding situation that it has here and I only noticed the difference when the other day someone asked if I could swatch the new sailor inks that I got which was the Yuri and the Nobiru and I was able to do this I think I showed this on Instagram so I was able to do this let me try to get a close-up. So this is what I did. And you can see at the back, there's no nothing. There's no damage. There's no ink bleeding or anything. So which is why I thought of making the 2025 Take a Note in A6 as my new ink journal and we'll see i'll be redoing the entire month of the inks i know i've de-stashed a couple of inks and i'm not really bothered by it because those are inks that i don't normally use and it would be a waste it's better that it's with other people now who have more use of it so anyway uh let's go back to inking these pens i used to use the butt of a glass pen and I still do more often than not because I forget that I have this kakimori steel nib thing and yes even though these are the converters they have ink converters I still prefer using a syringe normally you should use a blunt syringe but I can't find my blunt syringe so I use this instead and now this is where your ink swatch book comes in handy so instead of me like bringing out all the inks in my stash i just use this and i try to figure out what would look nice and yeah it kind of helps though but in case you're interested these are the inks that i used to have to the blues And then, I mean, the, the bleeding is horrible though. And then I also have browns. I don't think I sold much of the browns really. I think these are still intact. I think I only sold like three brown inks. These I sold, I think, two inks, three, four, four inks, five inks. Yeah, I think I sold five inks, I'm sorry because you don't really normally see me use this kind of colors anyway and then my purples i think 
my yeah i think i sold i sold these two inks because yeah i don't really use much of it and ah, it's such a waste and lastly my very few gray ish inks that i have so before this book would be like this like what i ink my current what, what's currently inked in the pens this is what i do but the thing is i can't use the back anymore because yeah it bleeds these are my wearing dual inks which is one of my favorite inks and then writing samples uh, this is what I was currently using that time. Well, that time, not currently anymore. These were the... I can do this. This was the ink. These were the inks that I got during the Manila Fountain Pen Show. And I never got to use it anymore. So now I want to figure out what would go with these pens. What ink would go with these pens? I want to start with the latest pen that I got this is the Sailor Manual Chestnut and I am really in love with this pen I still haven't had the original nib done so I just grabbed one of my other Sailor Pro Gear Slim nibs and I put it on here and it works perfectly fine I just love this pen so much and I don't know it's not like it's anything special at least I mean it's I don't think it's a special release or a limited release or anything like that but I really love how the green everything about this it's like a sage green and the thing is the manual line it I think they had like two I'm not sure if the Sakura Mochi was part of the manual line if it wasn't then I'm sorry but I think people went crazy for the manyo nuts i would have gone over it but the thing is it had a gold nib and i wasn't exactly like yeah as i mentioned earlier I, i'm not really a fan of gold nibs i still prefer the silver steel nibs for my pens and yeah so when i saw this inscribe I, I knew i was gonna get it it's just that it came with a set uh, it came with another ink that I wasn't going to use so it took a while for me to figure out if I was really going to get it or not but who are we kidding so anyway this is what I want to ink first and I really think this would go well with the Sailor Manyo Uri Yuri I know it looks light on video or on camera but um this is the pair that I thought of using and I'm gonna swatch it with you guys so you can ink it with me in case you're wondering this is the swatch of the Manyo Uri and although we're gonna I'm gonna swatch it with you I just wanted you to know that this is how helpful this is for me because all I have to do is just maybe like put the pen beside the ink swatch and I know what's probably gonna look nice on my pen so yeah let's go so this is a Kakimori steel nib. I don't remember what it's exactly called, but it's supposed to give you line variations. And since since this is going to be like a video, so I wanted to just do this as easy as I could. Anyway, so this is the Sailor Manyo Uri and it kind of gives off a sage green kind of color so this is why i wanted to use it for the chestnut and we can swatch it together so ideally if i do if and when i do the ink swatch journal on the take a note in a6 on a 2025 this is what i intended it to be maybe just like oh let me swatch this first i can't do two things at the same time this is the Uri. And it's really a sage green color that I like. I didn't expect to like something this much. Like, 
I thought I would always go for a dark green kind of ink and not usually this until I saw a writing sample of it and that's when I started liking it so if uh, well not if but when my ink sorry when the take a note in a6 arrives this is what I intended it to be so I can do like random swatches and just writing samples maybe and yeah so even if I don't have a pen inked with it I know how it's gonna look like I know how it's gonna look like inked or in writing so I know that this is using a converter and all that but I still prefer using a syringe because I really don't want to make a mess of things I have let me just dry this up first but this is just how I do things just have to dry this out get the water out first there you go please please um use a blunt syringe and do not be like me uh, i'm just really used to doing this by now that's why i don't mind please don't be like me but this is how i ink my pens because I really don't want to make a mess I tend to make a mess more when I use like the converter in getting ink I don't know it's just horrible for me so I can't talk and ink at the same time at the risk of spilling every single thing that's on my desk and I will freak out I don't think that's a very smart thing to do. So, give me a bit. Let me c always um always cover like put the cap back on your inks if you're done getting inks because trust me, you're going to end up like tipping it over and it's the worst thing that's going to happen in your life. Ideally, this is how my new ink journal is going to be, uh, a swatch up there, and then maybe a writing sample. I, I don't even, oops, and I smudged. So this is just like scratch and all that, so whatever I write here doesn't really matter. This is a long story why I have this book, and anyway, so we can write something. I don't know what to write though. This is the Sailor Manio Chestnut. I know you rarely ever see me write in cursive and I don't know but if I am gonna make it right I don't know because it's newly inked it's gonna be jumpy it's gonna be skippy I don't know but for some reason when I write in cursive with swatches it looks nicer I don't know but this is Saint Romano Chestnut it's um custom ground E E F. Who else has a hard time filming and writing at the same time? So um, yeah, so this is just a writing sample. So since this is blue, I might as well just like write underneath it. And yeah, so this is how it's gonna look like in decent cursive. And then with your regular like regular handwriting. I like that regardless if it's um a light colored ink you can still see your writing clearly I guess that's why I like this ink so much and it just looks really really nice with this chestnut pen hmm that seemed like a good option so that's good the next pen I want to ink is this Sailor um, Stealth Green. This is from Goulet Pens. And I think I mentioned this before. This originally came with a black nib. But I don't know for some reason. It just didn't write 
like smoothly and it annoyed me like anything because I couldn't use this pen and I really wanted this pen this has been with me for maybe two years now at least and I've never really I've never really used it as much as my other pens mainly because of the black nib it does look a lot a lot nicer with the black nib but if I can't use it what use is a nice nib anyway so I got again I got one of the um pro gear slim nibs that was already ground to a uh, custom eef and this is what i put here now i haven't really figured out what ink i'm gonna use in this pen so the sailor nobiru looks like a good idea and that's what i'm gonna swatch next again this is just gonna be a extra notebook thing anyway so i don't need this to look anything like not like we're swatching or anything but yeah before you panic i already cleaned this nib before i dipped it into another ink and this is the no biru where do i want to put this here okay and it's another rich green i think i'm a little partial to putting sailor inks on sailor pens but just i think it's just because it's new that i want to keep it per brand and per pen but it doesn't obviously it doesn't have to follow that way but yeah i think it's a good idea to use this on the stealthy green pen capped it so hang on and yes and yes the syringe is also clean and now we ink this pen i like having newly washed newly cleaned pens it feels so satisfying do you match sorry do you match your inks with your pens with the pen body i never thought i would be that kind of person but i don't know i'm not really very colorful or adventurous when it comes to inks anyway and even my pens are very basic in color Maybe that's why it wasn't really difficult for me to um, match the inks. I think the first, the reason why I'm so particular in capping your bottles as soon as you're done is because i was doing a wedding invitation once and there wasn't the ink that the people liked was actually a fountain pen ink and it spilled badly this is how i make it right faster i just let the ink seep through so you know it's getting absorbed anyway that's clean and we try to use this well let's see if it writes so i try to avoid the blue strip so you can oops yeah so you can actually see the color of the writing and this is crap it's wet this is the sailor stealth green Which is not so bad. I think I like the pairing too. Uh, let's see. Why is it so hard to write and talk at the same time? That's 
seem nice and oops up close yeah it's pretty good now we ink the next two pens this is the Lamy Safari AL yeah in sage green I forgot the exact name of the color but this is the one that I got in Canada and I was so happy that Reeds was one of the few retailers who was selling it and I was able to get it and ah, it's just such a memorable pen for me so this is another um I got this in extra fine I think yeah I got this in extra fine but I haven't had it done like I haven't had it sent for nib grinding so I also again used another old Lamy Safari nib that was already ground to EEF and that's what I put in this pen now to figure out what to ink it with next I think I used moss park green before and now I think I think I want to use Tom Sawyer from Wearing You. That changed fairly quickly. So I thought of using Mad Hatter instead. And this is going to be the swatch. Or I could swatch both for you. Hang on. So I have both inks with me these are the two inks that i absolutely love from wearing gule and yeah i i i've had this for quite some time and i really really like it i think you've seen me use this quite often and let me swatch these both for you so you have an idea what i'm talking about i believe that tom sawyer is lighter than most I, sorry, I believe that this is lighter than the Mad Hatter. So let's swatch this. This is the Tom Sawyer. Let's see. I'll just put it here. This is Tom Sawyer. And let me clean this first so we can swatch the other one we can swatch Mad Hatter and have to figure out which goes to which pen and my hands are already dirty what the Sorry, let me do that again. I was just testing you. There you go. Why do I have a feeling Mad Hatter looks so much better on the Lamy pen all of a sudden? So I guess it's going to be the Lamy. Sorry. So I guess it's going to be Mad Hatter that goes to Lamy. This also normally comes with a converter, but since I'm lazy, again, I just used the cartridge that it came in. So, oops. So for those who have like pens and it, I don't know, you don't want to buy a cartridge. Sorry, you don't want to buy, yeah, cartridges. No. So I'm just letting you know that for those who do not, who have these pens, you can use you can just refill the cartridges and you do not need a converter well you're gonna need a syringe though so yeah cap your bottles or else and put this back here try not to make a mess 
blot the thing there you go oh, I have a feeling this is really gonna look nice on the Lamy and the test is here oops Ooh, oh, oh sorry there you go and now we do a writing swatch this is um lamy sage oh oh it looks nice it really looks nice oh i am not regretting this Oh, it's nice. It really is nice. So, yeah. I guess we're keeping that there. Ha. Huh. And that's what's here now. Last pen we're going to ink is this Kaweko, Kaweko. This pen that I got in, I got this during the Manila Fountain Pen Show. When something as dark as that Aurora, I was figuring what would I need a dark green ink that would pair nicely with this. And the first thing that came to mind was um, Ferris Wheel Press Peter Moss or Robert Oster's Oklahoma. I can't pick which one. Huh. Well, since we can't pick, we swatch both. I am not sure if you've noticed, I'm not really a fan much of shimmer inks. Because considering the pens that I use, they're all like thin. So definitely it's either going to clog the feed and it's going to ruin my pen. And I'm just going to have a headache cleaning all of it. Which is the exact thing that I want to avoid. Ah, hey, and I'm a mess. Hi, this is Peter Moss from Ferris Wheel Press. I feel like in those crime movies or like those med movies, like before you do stuff, you have to like announce it or record it. Yeah, this is as far as medicine I'd go because no thank you. If it's not math, forget it because I can't do anything that's not numbers. This is Peter Moss. How can you not like Peter Moss? Huh. That is nice. But we cap that and clean. Ah! I'd be a really bad doctor. I mean, I'd memorize stuff, but I'd probably die trying to administer everything that I need to do because I'm afraid let me clean this so this one is um, Robert Oster this is Oklahoma City this is one of my favorite green inks because it's also one of those rich green ones and we're gonna see exactly how rich it is this is Oklahoma Hmm. Are you kidding me? They look so much alike. Well, at least you know I'm sure that what I really want out of this ink. Huh. So I guess it's a win-win thing. And I'm gonna go for Oklahoma City. I've never been to Oklahoma. So it's Oklahoma for you. Most people don't like Kovecos, um, what is this? What do you call this thing? Uh, converter. Because it's so small. Most people don't like Kovecos, um ink converter because it's so small. I don't, don't like it that much either, but yeah, oh, I got it anyway. So let's do this again. Cap 
मतलब बहुत हो एंड वी डू अ राइटिंग सैम्पल Not a bad choice. It looks really nice. It kind of fits with the pen. I like it. Mm. And if you do print, so yeah, it was not such a bad choice. And I'm just gonna leave it like this. I mean. It's really meant for scratch, anyway, and this is ideally how it would look like when the take a note in A6 arrives, and it's gonna have like writing samples, and it's going to be a lot easier when you actually have the writing samples and not just the ink swatch anymore, because I'm really. Amazed at how similar these two are. Considering I was really thinking about it, like which one to ink it with, and they kind of came out the same. So that's it for now. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little chat. I don't know what you call it, but thank you for you know keeping me company, inking my pens with me. And if you enjoyed stuff like this, please let me know. And I am going to keep trying to create more because I'm really having fun. Uh, it's funny though. I I never thought I'd be able to talk, but I really do still have a hard time talking and doing the same, like doing something at the same time. Huh. Anyway, so if you guys enjoyed this, let me know, and I'll see you in the next video. And by the way. There might be another green pen coming, so stay tuned. <laughs>